Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 here in Cairo, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Sophie Maddens, who is the Head of Regulatory and Market Environment Division of the Telecommunication Development Bureau, BDT, of the International Telecommunication Union, ITU. Welcome to the studio, Sophie. Thank you. Now we've heard uh, talking about, a lot of talk here about uh, national impl implementation of Fiji, which is the Financial Inclusion Global Initiative, and uh, we're, we're here at the Fiji Symposium. I just wanted to ask you, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about national Im implementation and what it means and, and what, it, uh, what effects it could have. So we are honoured and pleased to be working with the Fiji partners, uh, the World Bank, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, CPMI, for the national implementation. What does it mean? Basically, we are working in three countries, China, Egypt, and Mexico, to uh, achieve the uh, financial inclusion, digital financial inclusion. Because for digital financial services, you need a strong, trusted infrastructure that underpins the services so that it can go to the people. And we know that over half the world is now connected to the internet. But in order to have reliable financial services, you need that strong, trusted infrastructure. We have different uh, uh, workflows that we're working on. First of all, we do the assessment reports. We really assess where do we stand in terms of the digital infrastructure, the infrastructure to support and underpin those services. Where do we stand? Where do we stand in terms of regulatory collaboration amongst the different agencies? And what do we need to do? Then the second workflow is really to deep, uh, do a deep dive into the research areas and we'll be working in particular on mapping the infrastructure, on looking at cybersecurity aspects, on looking at consumer protection aspects, again to get that strong, secure infrastructure. How do you get it? How do you use it? How do you trust it? Because as we've heard in the last few days, getting the poor into financial inclusion really requires the trust in these financial services, but also the trust in the digital infrastructure, the applications, the content and the services. Then we also will be working on capacity building, building that capacity at government administration and uh, individual level. And last but not least, there may be some pilots in terms of mapping or in terms of bringing these services to the poor in some of the unserved and underserved areas in particular. Let's talk about the regulatory environment. Perhaps collaborative regulation is, uh, is something that uh, you could uh, give us a few insights into. So this collaborative regulation or co collaborative regulatory measures is something we've heard over the last few days. In order for, again, in order for digital financial services to come into being, we do need that collaboration between the financial services sector and regulators and the telecoms ICT sector and regulators and policymakers. Because I mentioned a consumer protection. We have the issue of getting the infrastructure to the unserved and underserved areas. We have the question of licensing. Yesterday in one of the panels we heard of the licensing of the mobile network operators. It's licensing of mobile F uh, network operators to provide the infrastructure and the services, but if these mobile network operators, as we've seen in many countries, start providing mobile financial services, then there are financial aspects linked and, uh, and, and ICT telecommunications aspects linked. Sometimes it can just be an MOU and our focus group uh, in ITU worked on those MOUs, the, the memorandum of our understanding. It can be a more informal collaboration, but I really see the need for more institutionalized, more formal collaborative mechanisms so we can really achieve this digital financial inclusion. And finally, what's ITU's role in, in terms of collaborative regulation in Fiji? So, as I mentioned in the previous uh, question, the collaborative regulatory mechanisms are key to achieving the digital financial inclusion. And it's something we at ITU have, are, are, have been working on for a number of years. I recall in 2016, in fact, we were in Sharm el-Sheikh here in Egypt for our global symposium for regulators, where we addressed, we had the global dialogue on digital financial inclusion. We started addressing the building blocks for collaborative regulation. We brought financial and telecoms regulators together to start discussing what issues we, uh, there really is a need for collaboration. Uh, we also have had the focus group on financial services. They also have some building blocks for this collaboration. 
collaborative regulation. And obviously, when we talk about telecoms, when we talk about digital transformation, it's not just financial. It's we're talking about digital and health, digital and education, digital and finance, but also uh, collaboration between uh, telecoms regulators and competition regulators, telecom, uh, telecommunications regulators and the data protection authorities. So the collaborative regulatory mechanisms are really something we want to see becoming more strong. For that you need building blocks, but you need trust amongst the different entities. We're not saying let's regulate and institutionalize right away very strict collaborative mechanisms, but let's get the dialogue going. Let's start with a dialogue. Let's see what collaborative regulatory mechanisms can be put in place. In ITU, we've published the last two years the Global ICT Regulatory Outlook Report. And this year, we analyzed data on such collaboration in the finance sector, but also in the other sectors. So we have some numbers, some evidence that we can bring to bear, and that is in our report. We want to, in our next Global Symposium for Regulators, which will take place in Vanuatu from the 9th to the 12th of July in 2019, we really want to discuss these collaborative regulatory measures even further with our membership, and maybe even present a roadmap, some, some building blocks, some mechanisms that they can then use within their administrative and uh, cultural environment to see how can such collaboration, because in the end of the day, if we want digital transformation to connect the world, to make the world a better place, we really need to work together. And for that, we need to talk to each other. Well, thanks for joining us for this symposium. We wish you the very best at the Global Symposium for Regulators as well, later on in the year, and we hope to catch up with you again very soon. Thank you very much, Max. Thanks, Sophie.